competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse, click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pool. All right, welcome in everybody to the BAM Trail. I'll tell you what, right now, we're getting ready to weigh some fish. But I want to tell everyone out here, everybody that showed up that's watching this, this is one of the scariest days these guys ever have to face. Because this right now, this is cut day. Only 10 guys go on to tomorrow. Only 10 of these great anglers get to fish for all the money, all the trophy, and all the glory of saying they are the first BAM Trail champion. These are the best pros we've got on the West Coast. These are the best pros that you're probably ever going to see fishing this lake. And in just a second, we're going to bring them up and start weighing them in. But I'll tell you what, today we went out. Mark, we went out today, did some filming. We got to see some of these great anglers. They came out here, and they did some fish catching. They did. This place is just amazing. So these guys, you know, you can fish this place however you like. Guys are flipping, pitching, punching. Spinner baits, chatter baits, top water. I, I mean, you name it, you can catch fish any way you want on this lake. Any, any way you feel like fishing, you can fish this lake. It's just amazing. We went out, some, got, saw some guys catch some good fish. Uh, a couple guys caught some pretty good ones. So you're going to see a couple guys caught some pretty good weights. We may mix up the leaderboard. Right now, 22 pounds for five bass is leading our weight division. And then... That's Zach Thompson. Cameron Carbert has 21 keeper bass 
and his best five weighed 1861. So we had a, a quite a few 18 pound bags come in, and these guys they just went out and fished, right? They have most of them had never ever been here. They went out blind and just went out and caught, and they're catching three and four pounders out there, and they're they're really racking it up imagine these guys are the best in the west if they had some time here on the water if they spent a few days practicing I, I couldn't even imagine what kind of fish this lake would bring in well you know yesterday they were out there fishing and it was winds of 20 25 30 mile per hour gusts it was brand new water to them they come out today a lot of things changed the winds come up a little bit now but this morning it was dead calm it was flat it was guys looking at fish guys seeing different things they're all these fishing changed how did it change today when you were out there because we saw guys catch fish that weren't catching fish sorry uh we just directing a little traffic you, you know yeah it was so yesterday guys are throwing reaction baits a lot of them throwing reaction baits catching quite a few fish because we had a lot of wind stirring up the water these fish are really aggressive and active today Everything slowed down, came to a standstill this morning. So the fish get really skittish when it's like that, especially the ones in the clear water. They're really skittish. So a lot of guys had to slow down, fish, some, do some finesse techniques, put down the spinner baits and the chatter baits, um, you know, and really work to catch these fish. Yeah, I mean, we were out there. We saw a lot of different techniques going on. We saw guys really attract, attacking it. We saw some guys flipping in super shallow water. We saw them catching fish out of deeper water. We saw them catch them coming everywhere in between. Did you notice anything over the last couple of days that really stood out to you? Like guys fishing too fast, guys fishing too slow. Was there something that really you just went, you know what? I can see because you used to be an angler. No, nah, he's still an angler. He's still a great angler. But you know what? He's out there and he's watching these guys and he learned some things. Tell us a little bit about, you know, we're pre-gaming this for everybody out here to kind of know what's going on. Because if you haven't been to Lake Martinez, please take a, a, a trip one day come down here and try it out but tell us what you kind of learned out there today. yeah this is amazing fishery so what i can see because oh i'm out i'm out filming these guys and and out with them not fishing but but watching observing what these guys are doing and what i notice is that the guys that have a lot of confidence in an area will work through it very very thoroughly you know ken ma is one of those guys that's really good at that I was fishing with Ken. He's going down the bank and he's flipping and punching and he's doing about every three or four, five feet. And then he catches one and he's like, man, this just looks right. And now he's flipping about every foot. So another guy just kind of going down the bank, just, just working it. And if you go down the bank and you don't catch one, then you're, you, your mind is not thinking right. And then if you catch a fish, then you're going to slow down. You're going to change things. Another guy came right through that same bank, and he caught three or four fish because he was fishing real slow, real methodical. So, so much of this, these guys are really good, and they will pay attention. They'll pick it apart. They'll figure it out. And that's what a lot of these guys did. I mean, they just got in there and really figured it out, and they're catching them. All right. Well, Mark. We've got a bunch of boats lining up right here. These guys are starting to show up. These are the best we got to offer. They've come out here. They're supporting the BAM trail. They want to weigh some fish. So we're going to take our commercial break here. When we come back, All right. Let's we're going to win a cut day. We're going to take this from 28 all the way down to 10, and tomorrow they'll fish on. So when you come back, we're going to start weighing some fish. The best of the best, fishing tomorrow. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, yeah, I mean, I mean, steering wheel spacers, and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. I Check them out seconds. at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance, and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats, 
feel the rush. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. Good now I'll tell you what, we got some guys out here getting ready to weigh in. We got guys lined up over here getting ready to weigh in. Because this is cut day, and they don't bring up the right amount of fish. Somebody's going home. But I'll tell you what, we're going to bring up our first angler. Had a little boat trouble, so we're going to start him up. Jake Arbuckle, come on up here, man. Let's get these fish weighed. All right. Do you have a big fish to weigh? No. Okay, let's weigh your fish in here. How many you got in there? No, there's, there's only two here today. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it was one of them days, one of them weeks for me. Um, had some big ones yesterday, just broke me off, had a couple jump off. Uh, regrouped, re-spooled some line, went back after it today. Um, had one in the boat. Camera boat rolls up, Mark jumps in, gets mic'd up, and right right when he showed up, first pitch out, catch a, catch a big one, come about three quarters away. And one thing we got to remember down here on the Colorado River, the darn zebra mussels that, that grow on the trees. Absolutely. I couldn't get that fish out of the tree, saw my line off, broke, caught another one, broke another one off. Um, it was just one of those days, one of those trips. Uh, you guys put on a great event. You know, it's we're, we're going to Lake Almanor next. And, uh, you know, my boat's sitting out there in some backwater 10 miles down the river right now, broken. Uh, so we're going to get away these fish, get this over with, and i I got to go find a boat. All right, well, right now you're going to come in with 5.37. Great way for today, 11.03. Now, when you, got, when you guys hear this, this is, how it's gonna, this is how it works. Anybody that doesn't know, if you're watching at home, anybody that doesn't know, here's how this works. I only have a top five today. This top five is for weight, but there's also a keeper count. We won't know that keeper count, and it's all in until probably around six or seven o'clock tonight. We cut off the we cut off the scales at six o'clock. They cannot put their fish in anymore. They can't register them. There's so many people coming in out there that don't have service right now. You know how spotted the service is out there. So if you're watching somewhere around seven, maybe eight o'clock tonight. They'll have all that in, and you'll know exactly who's in the top 10 for tomorrow. Jake, thank you for coming up here, man. We really appreciate it, and we will – yeah, hold on. You know, I want to – real quick while, while I'm up here. Um, first off, I need to thank my family for coming out. Um, my aunt's from Colorado. My parents from right up the road in Quartzsite. Uh, my wife's traveling with me this year, so that's really cool. Um, but the ones that make all of this really happen for me, I couldn't do it. The folks back at TNT Trucking, HSI Mechanical – KG Plumbing, uh, JP Towing, and uh, Cost Per Mile Tire. Without those guys and their support behind us, none of us can make this happen. You know, my Vexus boat run great. All my Garmin, my Garmin trolling motor, my Garmin graphs, everything worked flawlessly um, until this afternoon. Something just happened with the boat. Uh, it, it's a no-start, so I don't know what's going on. But, uh, you know, we'll keep grinding. I want to thank everybody at home watching. I got a lot of support. Thank all you guys for coming out here. This is awesome. Lake Martina is a freaking awesome place. Uh, look forward to coming back here. Thanks, man. Sorry about the boat trouble, but we'll see you at the next event for sure. All right. That right there is what we have got coming up. Nothing but professionalism. These guys, he took a beating today with boat troubles, but, hey, he's still smiling. He's coming back. So I'll tell you what, let's bring up our next angler. He's rolling in right now, Mr. Nick Wood. Nick, come on up here. Hold on, we're gonna set. We're just gonna weigh him right up. You got a big fish to weigh? No. Okay. I gotta get all that. I can't yeah. let you have. All, I tied it yeah. to eat. Yeah. These guys will do anything to get the competitive edge. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, let's have you up here. Let's weigh these fish. Thirteen point seven nine. Thirteen point seven nine. Now, right now, that gives you a total of twenty five eighty eight. You just took over the lead. Now I know. You know, <laughs> know that there's a few anglers out there that aren't going to let you walk away completely unscathed right now. How are you feeling about this, and how was it out there for you today? Um, it was it was uh, it was a little bit of a grind. Um, 
the way this format works um, is we have 30 days off limits and you got to make a decision. Hopefully you make the right decision. Um, you want to take those? Yeah, no. Um, you you want to, you want to, you know, you want to make right decisions and you got to live with the decisions that you make. So um, I made the wrong decisions. I wasn't on the right fish. I couldn't get it figured out fast enough, but I had a lot of fun. Um, considering that I struggle. I don't like, I don't like struggling. That's not no fun, but, um, I do enjoy fishing grass and flipping and doing all that stuff. Uh, the first day I was, I was throwing a lot of top water, missed a few fish. And then I ended up just putting a flipping stick in my hand at the end of the day, caught a few fish. I thought that might possibly help me or, you know, get, get me kind of dialed in. And I went back to the same area and I caught a couple in there and I just, I worked it over really, really hard and I never got any more bites. So I ended up finishing my day uh, just sight fishing. I caught all my fish on beds. Um, I just, I couldn't really get nothing solid going, but um, it was fun. I do want to thank uh, Black Bear Diner. They're a big support for me. Uh, they've, they've supported me for the last three years. I really appreciate that. Ranger Boats, they've been, they've been a huge support for me. I'm running the 520R. Um, Mercury Garmin. Um, I didn't use my Garmin a lot as far as my live scope here, but I use it. I'm, I'm, I really, I do a lot of fishing on, in reservoirs, and, and I've really got that technique dialed in. Um, the last couple of pro-ams on there has been, my Garmin live scope has been absolutely the most critical part of my tournaments there. So uh, big shout out to them. Ducket Rods, uh, they've been a big sport for me. Um, I'm sure I'm probably forgetting a few other people. <laughs> but my wife, my kids, they're at home watching, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to hit the road tonight and, and uh, get home for some family time. And, and um, I got two buddies, Colby Pearson and uh, Bill O'Shin. I'm really hoping those guys do good. Uh, so Colby's coming up here in a minute, and I'm, that's my, I'm going to live through him t the rest of the day. <laughs> well, Nick, I'll tell you what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to have you take two of those fish out there. All these people that showed up out here, all the people watching on YouTube right now, I want you to show off a couple of the fish that you struggled for, that you worked hard for, and let's show them what they have here in Lake Martinez and what these pros can do. That's what they can do right there. They can show some fish off, catch them, and catch them good. That right now is your current leader, 2588. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate you. <laughs> good job. Who's coming up next? Brad? Who? Bradshaw? Okay. That's what we got. All right, our next angler's coming up here. And here he comes. They're kind of doing this new this new drive-by way, and it's working out pretty good for us, keeping these fish nice and healthy. Mr. Jason Bradshaw coming on up here. Let's set those up on the scale. You got a big fish to weigh today? No. Nope. All right, well, we're going to weigh these fish in right now. And you've got 11.97. Step right here for just a second. I'm going to put those back in there. All these fish are going back in water as we have them up here so that we can talk just a little bit. we got some of the top pros on the West Coast, and I know that you guys are up here and you're loving this lake right now. Jason, that puts you in second place overall. Now, there's a still few more anglers coming in. How do you feel about today, and how was, your, how was it out there for you? Uh, it, it was a grind. Uh, yesterday I had 14 keepers. Today I only had five keepers. Um, it's like Nick said, you know, we didn't have time to practice. There's no practice for this. So when you kind of figure something out that first day, sometimes you kind of grind on it and it works and sometimes it doesn't. So today was just a grind. I beat my area up. I milked it for everything it was worth. All right, man. Right now, for weight, you'll be in there. Now, none of this is official. And I wish I could tell you, oh, yeah, you're going to be back here tomorrow. But I can give you this tag, and I can tell you that somewhere around 7 or 8 tonight, you'll either know if you're there for keeper or if you're there for weight. And if you're not, thank you for coming out and supporting us anyways. Yep. But we hope we see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Just right there. All right, we got to bring our next angler up here, Mr. Colby Pearson, coming up. Colby, put those fish on the scale right there. You got a big fish to weigh today? Uh, no big one. All right, well, right now we're going to give you a weight. That weight's going to be 1179. Good weight right there. Now, I can look over here. Again, everybody, when I tell them that they're in the top five, 
That's only five. There's 26 other guys out there that, are still, that you're still waiting to weigh in. Here's this weight for right now. Colby, we're going to put these back in here. I'm going to have you take two of those fish out. We've got people watching in YouTube. We got a cameraman right there. And we got all these people that came out in beautiful Arizona. Let's show them what you got. Right there's what you got. Lake Martinez showing it off right now. Now that puts you in first place. Are you very confident about staying in first place? Uh, no, unfortunately not confident in staying in first place, especially with weight. Um, my whole, I guess, kind of pattern this week was uh, fishing for fry garters. I was using a spinnerbait, um, crashing into a lot of fish. It was the only thing I could really use to kind of piss those fish off and instigate them into biting. So I was really trying to catch numbers. I got 15 yesterday, but I was only able to catch seven today. So maybe that'll get me something, but I'm not too confident. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. He's got keeper count going. He's got weight right now. Well, right now, he's got first place for weight, 30.01. Now, that's good weight, but 22 pounds was leading it to start the day, and that guy's still out there. What did you go into this thinking keeper count-wise you would need to go forward? You know, typically in a largemouth fishery, if you're catching three limits a day, 15 fish, that's pretty strong in most largemouth fisheries. I was really surprised yesterday to get that. Um, especially down here in the desert, any, any fishery down here, if you're catching 12 or 14, 15 fish a day, that's a really quality day down here in terms of numbers, at least in the desert typically. Lake Martinez might be a different case, but I'm not too familiar here, but I did feel good about 30 fish for two days would probably be enough. How do you feel today? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I would have <laughs> liked to have, I don't know, three or four more probably if I maybe would have squeaked in. So basically what you're saying is Lake Martinez is a heck of a fishery out there. You could have got more fish. You could have more fish. But you're feeling a little bit confident about being back here tomorrow. Uh, I'd be really surprised if I got to fish tomorrow. But I, I'd love to fish. And if I get to fish on Sunday. Well, thank you for coming up. If we see you tomorrow, I hope we do. But if not, we'll see you at the next event. Right. Thanks, sir. All right, everybody. Our next angler is coming up here. He had... One fish yesterday, a little bit of a struggle, but he went back out there. He had a lot to do. Let's bring him to the stage. Mr. William Ponting right now. Come on up here. He's got a much better bag right there. That's for darn sure. Let's throw that on the scales. You got a big fish to weigh today? Yeah, it's for five pounder. All right. That, that's up to you. But I'm going to tell you, you've got a pretty good weight, and that weight, it goes 16.47. That is a great comeback right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this down in here right now. You go ahead, pull two fish out, show them to the fans out there watching, show them to the fans sitting here underneath all the, the sunshine stopping tents that we have set up because it is sunny down here right now. Look at those fish right there. Lake Martinez, thank you for growing them that big. All right, we're going to weigh that fish up here. We're going to tell everybody. I know everybody wants to know that what the big fish weighs. That big fish is going to come in at 5 pounds, 6.71. Now, let's put that back in there real quick. Pull that clip off, too. We'll pull that off. Let those sit for just a second. Now, I told you yesterday that I knew the kind of angler you were and that you were going to put them back on. You were going to come up here and drop something on that scale to make up for yesterday. Thank you for doing that, first of all. And second, <laughs> second of all, how did this whole thing change for you? What did you change up and do? Yesterday I had 10 fish hit, got one to the boat. Today I had five fish hit, one was a short, got them all to the boat. So nothing changed except they hooked themselves. <laughs> you are one of the top anglers out here. You're standing on this stage right now because you're one of the top anglers on the West Coast. Everybody out there, this is how you do it. You go out and you work hard, and what you come back with is a fifth place right now. Now, we all know that that's probably not going to make it, but it's got to feel a lot better than coming in here with two pounds. You know, I got to say something. All these guys are whining about this eight and a half, nine hour drive. That's what I do every time to go up to Shasta and all those. I got a three hour drive. I'll be home by 730. 
<laughs> All right, man. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate you being up here. All right, Lake Martinez, let's bring up our next angler. Bo, are you ready to come up? You got your fish? You want to show these fish off to, this lake, to these people here? All the people out there? All right, well, let's bring him to the stage then, Mr. Bo Jordy. Jodry. I always keep forgetting that R up there. Let's set him up in there. You got a big fish to weigh? Okay, we got one big fish to weigh, but right now he's got five fish, and they go 18.14. 18.14. That is a heck of a sack of Martinez fish. Let's pull your big fish out. Show him off to the camera. Show him off to the people at home. Show him to the people sitting out here. That right there is some Martinez bass. Let's set him up in there. We'll get a weight. Here's this one. I'm going to give you another one that's going to say, 5.80 on it. That is a heck of a fish right there. Let's set that one back in there. Pull that clip off. You set it right. Set the clip right there. Put that. Make sure they're back in water. All right. Here's your here's your tag on that. Now, Bo, that puts you in first for weight. How are you sitting right now? For <laughs> that's a nice surprise look. I like it. So, how are you sitting right now for keeper count? Uh, yesterday, I think I was in 10th for keeper count. Um, I had 12 fish yesterday. I only caught seven today. Uh, did a little grind today, but uh, put it down and picked up some good ones on beds. So, All right, now you have a little bit later today, you'll have keeper count. Right now, 33 pounds. Tell me how does it feel and how do you think 33 pounds? You've seen this lake. 22 was leading it. You got 33 now. How are you feeling? How secure are you feeling that you be make it by weight? I, I don't feel good about it. Uh, one more big one would have been nice. Uh, it's going to be close. All right. Well, I'm hoping that we get to see you tomorrow. All these people out here, the people on TV, they're hoping they see you tomorrow. But if we don't, thanks for coming out and for fishing with us, man. We really appreciate you. All right, our next angler had 1483 yesterday. He's going to need a little bit of work to get up in there. Carl, you ready? Let's bring up Carl Okerman right now. Set your fish up in the scale. You got a big fish to weigh? All right, he's not going to weigh a big fish. That's not true. He's going to weigh five that goes 16.30. That's not a bad weight for the day. Now, you don't have a big fish to weigh, but I do want you to reach in there. Here, I'll hold that for a second. Reach in there, grab two of those fish out of there. Show them off to the people watching on YouTube, the people on the cameras up here, all the people out here in the stands. That's what we need to see right there, some Martinez bass. And they're all coming out anyway. They, they all want to be on screen. All right. Let's, let's get here. Here's this part. We're, gonna tr we're trying to do all this new stuff to make this work. There you go. Now, give me just a couple seconds and tell me a little. Step right over here. Because they want to see, everybody out there wants to see you. They came all this way. They sat on their couches at home to watch you fish. You got to go fishing, but they're all sitting at home watching. How was this lake? How did it treat you, and are you ready to go on for, number, for day number two? How is your keeper count? Uh, keeper count, I'm somewhere around 17, 18 keepers today, so I should be way more than enough to get in for tomorrow. Okay. So I got to caught probably five more fish, but I'm trying to manage my fish out there. So I got a couple to bring in tomorrow. Right now, you're sitting in second for weight. Do you even care which one you make it in by? Oh, I'm going to make it in by the fish count, I'm sure. All right, man. Well, thank you. I hope we see you tomorrow. I hope it works out. Carl, thank you very much. All right, our next angler coming up here. He had 1841. He's got a good bag. He had a 9.54 yesterday. That is a big fish leader right now. Let's bring him on up here, Mr. Billy Hines. Come on up, man. Let's weigh these fish up. All right, Billy, set them up in there. Do you have a big fish today? Negative on that. It was a struggle bus for me today. Uh, I ended up catching, I think, eight fish, and it was just uh, a different day. Well, let's weigh these fish you've got right now. 11.40. That right now, let's set them in there. Take a couple of those out. Show them off to everybody.
That's all right. Everybody out there wants to see what you did today. They didn't get to catch anything, but you're up there catching those right there. Lake Martinez, that's your fish. We're going to put them back, but those are the ones that he got today. Now, Billy, you got 1140. It puts you in fourth place overall. How was your keeper count? Not good. Probably 16 total fish for two days. So I was hoping on weight, and uh, today blowing it like that, it was uh, – Pretty much took that out of the cards too. So we'll see where we end up. Um, so anyway, yeah, I appreciate everybody coming out. It's a great crowd out here. I'd like to thank Ranger Boats, Mercury Marine, Gone Fishing Marine, Sims, and most of all, my wife and my grandchildren out there watching. I appreciate you guys. Love you all. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, Billy. I hope we see you tomorrow. But if we don't, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. All right, our next angler was out there. I actually got to see this guy fish today. I got to see Billy fish today. It is amazing to go out on the water and watch these guys fish. The way they attack it, the way they come at these fish, the way they catch them, it's just absolutely amazing to watch. Are you ready to come up and weigh your fish? All right, Mark, let's bring those fish up here. They got them all bagging them up. We're leaving them all in the live wells as long as we possibly can. We're coming up on stage. We've got a tank up here that they're going to keep their fish in. So while we're talking, they're never out of water for very long. We kicked very good care of your fish. Thank you for letting us use them for a little bit, though. And here comes Mr. Mark Pilgrim. Mark, set those fish on the scale. Do you got a big fish to weigh today? I do. Okay, first we're going to weigh them all. Nope, hold on a second. We're going to weigh them all in. And what you just weighed in was 17.64. That is going to move you up a little ways on that scale. I'm pretty sure it's going to put you right there. Here, real quick, and then we'll weigh your big fish. So what's your keeper count looking like right now? My keeper count's not looking too hot. I had, uh, I think, eight or nine yesterday, but I had a little food bar with one. So I uh, lost one, so I had eight yesterday. And I think I have 12 or something today. So uh, you know what? I have a lot more keepers today more weight um we're gonna see where i fall it might be pretty darn close well i'll tell you what, let's pull out two of these fish get your well let's get your big fish weighed first of all let's do let's take care of the business let's show that fish off to everybody out there on youtube his wife came all the way down here too so she's got a camera she wants to see these big fish that's what they look like right there when they're done right all right let's put him on the scale that's going to be a good fish right there. Now, you need 954 to go over that for new big fish, but you don't quite have that, but you do have a 6.59 big fish. That is a heck of a limit you got going right there. Let's take this one out, put him back in there. Yeah, go ahead and grab him up. Now we'll take some pictures. <laughs> it's hard to find a fish that goes with that one right there, but that doesn't matter because that just shows you how big that fish really is. That was a great weight he had right there, and that just shows you what a big fish is. All right. Here's your overall weight. Give it, you know, you gave us a pretty good little estimate of what's going on. It puts you right now at first place. I know you said weight, you think more than anything. Do you think that 33.93 is going to hold up with these caliber of anglers? I don't think so. Um, I would, I, mean, I, I hope so, but I was close yesterday and I wanted to get a little bit more weight today and uh, I got the weight that I needed. Um, I wish I had a couple more pounds because it's going to be close. Hopefully I'm in the top 10, but it's, man, I'm gonna, I might squeak it out. I don't know. Well, we hope you do squeak it out. Do you want to say anything to anybody out there? Take a minute and say a couple words. Uh, I gotta say a huge thank you to my family and friends that were here, my wife, my brother, uh, all my sponsors. Um, without my sponsors, this doesn't work. You know, that's uh, this circuit's uh, is an amazing, amazing uh, event series, and what we're doing, and it's it's so much fun to do it. And without my sponsors, I don't I don't exist here. So, so uh, I'm not gonna name them all. You guys know who you are. But uh, I want to say thanks again for you guys, just all you guys for showing up. It's awesome to see this crowd. And uh, 
let's cross my fingers and see if I'm here tomorrow. Well, we hope you are, Mark. You're a great ambassador for our sport. You do a lot for it, and we really want to see you back out here. So let's hope we see you tomorrow. Let's hope that number one holds out or your keeper count. All right, yeah, thank you for giving a, giving a big round of applause right there for Mark Pilgrim. Our next angler coming up here. He went out out there. He had 13.88 yesterday. Max, you ready to weigh these fish? Well, then come on up here and weigh some fish, my friend. I don't know exactly what he needs to get in there, but right now he's got 13.88. 29.81 is what it's going to take to be in the top five for weight. You need 15.94. You sure? <laughs> All right, let's let's weigh these up. You would have taken that. 12.71. Hey. You went out and got to go fishing all day long. We had this discussion yesterday. Yeah. You went out yesterday, you went fishing. Today you got to go out fishing. All those people on YouTube are sitting at home watching you from the couch. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about being out here fishing at Lake Martinez in Arizona? Uh, this is my home lake. This is my favorite lake in Arizona to fish. Um, just didn't work out for me today. But uh, it, was a, it was a struggle. I got a big fish, yeah. Um, it was a struggle. It uh, The bite was pretty good yesterday morning, and then the wind really picked up, and my bite went away. So I thought today with the lighter lighter breeze, it was going to be just as good as it was yesterday morning. It was horrible. So, But I had fun. I kept grinding all the way to the last minute. I had five minutes left right before I pulled in, pulled into that that uh, canyon bank right there just outside of Fishers because I know there's smallmouth there, and I'm like, at least one more. <laughs> Didn't get one, but I had fun. All right, well, let's weigh that big fish. Show him off right there. Grab, a, grab one with him just so we can show him off to the cameras. There you go. Look at that big fish right there, guys. These anglers, they know how to catch them. Set that fish in there. Oh, you've got a beautiful fish. 6.93. That is a great big fish right there. Doesn't quite take the lead. 9.54 was the leader. But hold that one up. All right, that's what they need right there. Set him back in there. Take him on here. All right. right. Thanks, Max. I appreciate you coming out. All right. All right, well, we got a, we got a few more English coming in here. We got a lot more to do today. Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate you having us out here at Lake Martinez. Thank you for, for being such a great lake, taking care of this fishery and making it something we can absolutely be proud to come out here and fish. These guys have all had a great time. They've told me a great time. And some of our sponsors that have come out, Garmin's come out today. We've had all kinds of different guys. We've got StoreQuest, BassCat. Thank you for participating. Thank you for showing up as a crowd and crowd members and showing off and coming out in support for all these anglers and showing them what it takes to be out here. Our next angler is pretty much known all over the country. He's been fishing for a long time now, <laughs> and he's doing a great job. Ish, you almost ready to carry some fish? You want to bring some fish up here to weigh? All right. They're getting it. Don't worry, everybody. I'm sorry that things are kind of going. We're just getting all this new stuff figured out. It's a long way from the lake to here. We don't want guys carrying fish outside of water or inside of bags. So we're doing this new way in right now. And we've got it figured out. Bring them on up. So thank you for everybody coming out here. We really appreciate it. This has been a fun event. It has been super just to watch the changes of the weather out here. 20, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds yesterday. Today we got this. But right now we're going to bring up a tornado. We're going to bring up Mr. Ish Monroe. Come on up here, Ish. Set, you got a big fish to weigh today? No. All right, let's set him up in there. Let's weigh these fish out. Here's one of the top anglers in the country dropping 17.02 on the scales. That's a good weight right there. 17.02, 35.41. That puts you in first place, Ish.
Now, you've been in first place before, but you also know that there's keeper count out there. How are you sitting keeper count wise? Uh, I had 18 keepers yesterday and 16 keepers a day. Is that going to make it? I hope so. If it doesn't, then they caught them way better than I expected, and <laughs> then I'll be mad at myself for uh, leaving the area because I've got an area, and it's just it's got a lot of fish in it, but I didn't want to burn it up today because, I mean, keep catching keepers and keepers and keepers, and you need fish for tomorrow, and they're, plus they're dropping the water, so I don't even know if I can get in there tomorrow. All right. Here's, here's this one right here. Right now, you're in first for weight, and you're sitting pretty decent right now for keeper count. I know you don't care which way you make it in. You just want to make it in. Which one do you hold the most out for? All about the weight because that's what's going to take to win this event is the overall weight. But before we even get into that, there's one person I really have to thank. Um, actually, a couple people. One, uh, Jake Boomer today, uh, the water dropping. I actually beached up on a sandbar today and he actually was there to help me push the boat off the sandbar. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it took me probably an hour or, or more to do it, and it took us about 20 to 30 minutes to get it done. And so I got to thank Jake from Alpha Anger Rods, and, you know, they actually make really great rods. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I know Brandon Polinick fishes them, and that guy's won just about everything, Angler of the Year, multiple tournaments using those rods. So I uh, definitely want to thank Jake for uh, helping me out today. I really, really appreciate it. I owe you big time and I want to thank my wife uh, this is actually her first time towing a boat around and she's doing a great job and she's been super supportive this is actually her first event that she's come to out of all the tournaments that I fish and we got married last year so I'm gonna start bringing her to a lot more tournaments and I just want to thank you love you babe and uh, you guys have done a great job mark you I mean the whole crew has done a fantastic job with this you know the band pro tour is something that I hold dear to my heart because I mean it's gonna be something big for all the anglers out here out west you know we're coming to some of the best fisheries I mean I've never been here to Martinez before I've actually fished um, below Havasu I fished Havasu a lot and was super excited because I know there's a lot of great fish and I mean it's showing out lots of 16 to 18 pound bags and anytime you come to a fishery like that you really can't ask for much more than catching a three and a half pound consistent average and shoot we had a nine and a half yesterday and multiple fives and sixes so glad to be down here you know folks get on the water um fishing's really good all right Ash, well do me one favor take a couple of those fish out there hold them up for the crowd hold them up for the people watching on youtube all the cameramen out here they want to see how what you think about lake martinez and let me tell you, this right here is what he thinks about Lake Martinez. Step, step. There you, go. you guys have a great fishery here. You should be very proud of what you're bringing. These are the top anglers in the country. And I'm telling you what, these guys absolutely know how to catch these fish. Thank you, Ish. No, thank you. I hope we see you tomorrow. Because so. either weight or keeper count, you want to be here, we want to see you. All right. Okay, you got to let me know. So I'm going to do this last guy, and then we'll take one. All right, our next angler coming up here. Now, if you've been watching the BAM tour, if you've been watching and seeing what this guy's been doing over the years, one of the greatest anglers in the nation right now just what rolled off. We're going to bring another one up right now. How do I know that? Because this guy's been a champion all over the West Coast, and his name is Greg Gutierrez. Don't put him in there, hold on. Oh, he's trying to get all that weight. Greg, you got a big fish to weigh today? Uh, no. Okay, well, let's set those fish in there. And we're going to give you 12.14. Good weight. Oh, I hope that printed. Put it back in real quick. Yeah, no. Takes a second. But it came out 12.14 again, so you know our scale's right. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's set them back in there real quick. Let's break down just a little bit really quick on how this thing changed. Now, you're one of those guys that when we interviewed you before, you talked about you like the weather to be bad, you like the weather to be different, you like it to change. Everything calmed down today. It got slick. It got nice. It got beautiful to be out there. How did this work for you? You know, it didn't work that well for me, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I had fish that were kind of shallow, and they were up because the wind was blowing, and, and it was perfect. Everything blew into what I needed, 
and uh, I was catching everything on a reaction bait, so it was just nice. Um, today, it was tough. I mean, I really didn't, I didn't have three fish by 11 o'clock and, and ended up running around and catching another six fish. So my keeper count's pretty low. Um, I'm just hoping I did enough yesterday to make it work today. And that's all part of it. But Greg, once you reach in there, grab a couple fish out, hold them up for all the cameras out here, all the people watching YouTube, and all the great fans that showed up out here to sit up here and watch their fish be caught. There they are. Now, Greg, your name didn't pop up on the weight just yet. No. Keeper count, we won't know till a little later. Are you feeling comfortable at all? The champion that you are, are you feeling comfortable at all that you're going to be here on day three? You know, it's going to be on the edge, to be honest with you. I caught, uh, like I said, I got, caught nine fish today, uh, 19 yesterday for, what, 28, right? So, so that's 14 a day. I forget what the cut was to make it into top five on <laughs> keeper math, all that stuff. But... You know, these guys catch them. They catch them everywhere, and that's why we have this BAM Pro Tour. And, and that's why we need these guys fishing this tournament, and we have to have these kind of events so we can showcase what we can do. You've showcased what you can do not only in this state. You've done it in the world. You've represented our country yeah, twice. twice now. Three times. Is it three? Okay, twice in Spain, once in Portugal. This man right here has represented our country. Just that alone, and you're fishing the BAM Tour. We can't appreciate that any more than you know. I'm glad you came out. I'm hoping that somewhere one of these things lights up and you get to come back tomorrow. But if not, we still appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. Thanks, we hope we see you soon, Greg. Thanks, appreciate it, guys. Thank you, everybody. We're going to take a really quick break. Hold on, Jason. We're going to take one quick break, have to go to a commercial, and then when we come back, we're going to have Jason Austin coming to the stage. Stay tuned. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Bam Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers, and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance, and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam, and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed, and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Fast cap boats, feel the rush. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. All right, welcome back to the second stop. Well, this is our first stop, but it's day two of our second of our first stop. And I'm going to tell you right now, we got a guy coming up here. He had 17, 19 yesterday. Jason, are you about ready to weigh some fish? Because there's 18 guys out there that are wondering if they're going home or not. And Jason wants to make at least the top 10 spot. Jason Austin, come on up here and weigh some fish, and let's see where you get to today on weight alone. This is a, a totally separate way because he can make it by weight. Nope, we're going to send it around. You got a big fish to weigh? No. All right, Jason. We're going to weigh these five fish in. Are they five? There is five. 11.77. Hold on. One second. Until the Prince, there we go. Put them in there. Set them down in there real quick. Oh, shoot. Make sure we grab this for you. Step over here real quick in the middle. Then we're going to have you weigh a couple fish. Yeah. 
Hold a couple fish up. Here's what he had today, Lake Martinez. Thanks for coming and watching. Look at those fish. All right, now, by weight alone right now, they're telling me you didn't quite make that cut. You're in eighth place. You needed to be in the top five on weight to make it. How are you doing keeper count, and what do you feel like with this event? I feel like I'll be driving home tomorrow because those are the only five fish I caught today. So. Yesterday it was blowing. It was a little, uh, I would say what we consider maybe not the best fishing out there. Today it flattened out. The wind came up just a little bit, a little breezy. How did that change for you, and how, did that ma how does that make you today? Uh, yesterday, yeah, it was really windy, and if we'd had today's water level, or yesterday's water level today, it would have played a way better for me. They dropped the river. So yesterday where I was fishing, you know, a foot and a half, two feet deep, today was three inches. So I failed to make the proper adjustments. Well, as being one of the top anglers in the country, I see the country, and I know we're only on the West Coast, but I don't know. I feel like you guys are just the best in the country. I'd love to see them guys try to come out here and just deal with everything you just dealt with and do this. How does it feel to be up here on this stage right now, knowing that you're one of the top pros in the West Coast right now for sure? Yeah, for sure. It's an honor to be up here, you know, with guys like Ken Ma, Ish Monroe, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on, Greg Gutierrez. So, yeah, no, I'm proud to be here for sure. And uh, this, we're, we're going to see some amazing fisheries. This place is amazing. I'm glad we came here. Bam's putting on a heck of a show. So, you know, it's it's just a great thing to be part of, and I'm enjoying it. Even, um, oh, go ahead. Even though I'm going home tomorrow, I wish I was staying for sure. Well, Jason, we hope maybe you make it, but if you don't, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. You really proved a lot to us, and we'll see you at the next event. Thank, thank you, sir. Right. All right, guys. Our next angler had 15.65 yesterday. He has won so many tournaments. He has come out here. He was out there fishing today hard. We watched him fish a little bit. Let's bring him up here on the stage. Everybody out here, Lake Martinez, all you sitting out there, give this man a round of applause. Ken? <laughs> Let's bring him up here, Mr. Ken Ma. Is that the, you got a big fish to weigh today? What's big? Right now it's 9.54 is what it's going to take. You got to beat Billy Hines' fish yesterday. No. Okay, let's set him up in here. Let's figure out what all, you got five fish, right? Yes, sir. Let's figure out what his five fish go for. His five fish go 15.92. That is a really good bag right now. Let me, hold on, let me do make. Fifteen point nine two. Set them down there real quick. We're gonna have you in just a second. We're gonna have you take those fish up. We're gonna hold them up. We're gonna show them to everybody in YouTube. We're gonna show them out of here. I got to see some of these fish get caught. Let's show the rest of the people out here and the people watching at home what you can do at Lake Martinez. And that's what you can do right there, Mr. Ken Ma, bringing the hammer. 15.92. Now, Ken, for weight, that puts you in fourth place. You're 31.57 total. There's a few other anglers coming up here. How is your keeper count right now? Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it on scoreable. Yesterday I caught 11. Today I caught uh, 6, so that gives me 17. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to go on scoreable. And uh, with... I think I'm going to be just out driving back to NorCal is, is, is how I feel. I, I think I'm one fish from the way to way. Um, but, uh, you know, it was just, uh, th this place is tremendous. Just like Ish said earlier, uh, I had I have never been here. I, uh, the first day that I, I fished here was yesterday. And uh, it, it is a special, like, you would never think this place is in the desert. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, this place, this is a tremendous fishery. Uh, you know, I, if we were here a month ago, uh, it, it, it would be lights out, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I, I really thank uh, Mark and Bass Angler Magazine, yourself, all the staff, you know, Lindsay, uh, Bray, I'm missing people, you know, all the camera people, uh, the boat drivers, you know, there's so much that goes on 
for this event to happen. You know, so uh, you know, I'm 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 thankful. Like what exactly what Ish said, I'm thankful that uh, that Mark continued uh, the uh, format. It's one of the funnest formats. I fished every single format, and the reason I fished this is because it is it is seriously one of the funnest formats that that I in, that I have uh, fishing. All right, kid, you're in fourth. I know you just said you're not sure you're going to make that one. You're not sure you're going to make that, the, the keeper count. We hope you do. We always want to see you out here fishing. We'd love to see you compete. But if you don't make it, thank you for coming down here. Thank you for showing us what you can do, and we really appreciate you coming out. We'll see you at the next event. Cool. Yeah, uh, last thing, too, uh, you know, lithium power is a big deal. It's going on in all the boats, and uh, I run BioNO Lithiums. Uh, you know, they're assembled right here in, so in SoCal. There's a lot of people in the audience that have RVs, that you're buying Odysseys or Rolls in your RVs, maybe. Uh, take a look. Uh, BioNO actually makes uh, RV lithium batteries also. 20-year industry warranty backed by a company in SoCal. So you buy that set of batteries one time, and you have a brick and mortars uh, company uh, in SoCal who will back that warranty. It'll outlast your RV because you know you're going to buy two in a lifetime. All right, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thanks for coming up here and showing us what you can do. All right, our next angler going to be coming up here. Jake, you about ready to weigh some fish? Well, here he comes right now. He had 1451 yesterday. Mr. Jake Boomer's coming up here today. You gonna weigh this big fish? <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I got. All right, he's got a big fish. He's got one fish. I don't think it goes that. <laughs> that fish right there, one fish, but it goes 298. Now, I'm not always the smartest guy, but I know that a 2.98 was not what you were looking for today. You went out there, you fished hard. You, this is a this is a great lake, and everybody said how great this lake is. Tell us a little bit about what changed for you and how you ended up with 298 today. So what changed for me is I made a dumb decision. <laughs> and I thought that maybe um, I needed a lot of keeper count, so I thought I'd run way up the river, which is really dumb because, one, I had just spent, like, a couple minutes pushing ish off a sandbar. And then uh, I started running up the river going, man, this thing's lower than it should be, and it was falling super fast. And I hit two sandbars really hard up there. <laughs> And then when I got to the place I was going was way up there in the middle of nowhere. I got stuck going in and the water was coming out and it spun me out. I could not calm down. Every bite I got, I ended up losing. I ended up catching one little one. And I was so afraid I was going to get stuck up there. I was starting to think, like, when you're fishing and you start thinking about, man, I can sleep on that beach until somebody comes to get me. Or, you know, maybe I can, where am I going to get cell service? I, it, I spun me out and I never recovered. I came back down here and everything I wanted to fish was kind of burned up. So, super dumb. Uh, taking risks like that if you're uh, not able to handle the consequences and I took it so Well, I'll tell you what Jake even though it's only one small fish. I still need you to take cam camera time with him Let's hold this fish up The problems you have out there these guys still address this just like champions and There's the fish he got here Martinez now Now I know that you you're willing to come back down here and try this again, right? Yeah, um, I was just talking to Hickey, who is probably one of the most versatile fishermen I've ever met. And he's, he's good at Colorado River fisheries. It's the only time I do well on the Colorado River is if they've got smallmouth. And, and, and I'm starting to realize that, that when the weather changes, I'm not, I, don't, I don't have the playbook for it. I go do something dumb, like run way up the river, <laughs> end up on the sand. I should have brought an umbrella and a bucket of beer and just hung out. <laughs> I hit so many sandbars. I have a feeling a few people out here know what you're talking about right now. Jake? Here's this one here. You probably won't be up here tomorrow for keeper count or anything else. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for fishing with Bam. And we will see you at the next event for sure. You're a heck of a guy out there, a great fisherman. Thanks, everybody. Give him a round of applause. All right, our next angler coming up here. He's got 13.92. Jason, let's get up some fish. Let's bring him up here. All right, let's bring him up. Mr. Jason Hickey, come on up, man. Let's get some fish weighed and see where you're going to end up. This is cut day. Every one of these guys knows. 
15.69. You have a big fish one away? Sure. Hold on one second. There we go. Finally got it. Put those in there real quick. Pull your big fish out. Show him off to the crowd. Stand about where I'm at. We're going to show this off right here. Here's a few of the Martinez fish that he brought in for his 15.69. That is a beautiful fish right there. Step over this way just a little bit and show them off to all those people out there. Show them off to the crowd out here. Thanks for coming out, everybody. And this is what he thinks of Lake Martinez. I'm pretty sure he's happy with it. Set him on there. Let's weigh this fish up. 6.03. That's a good fish right there. Now, go ahead and set, yes, go ahead and set them back in there. We'll get this, we'll get those up, we'll get them back in the boat so that they got plenty of oxygen. Here's the here's your tags. Take these fish up. Thank you, Mark. All right, Jason. 29.59. Doesn't make you in the top five on weight yet. How's your keeper count doing and how do you feel about being here tomorrow? I feel great about being here tomorrow, but I don't feel like I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I only had six keepers today, so it was a grind for me. I had 10 bites today. I missed two and lost two. And, uh, you know, my one of the things I struggle with is I like to just stand on the trolling motor and fish whatever's in front of me. And not knowing what else is out there, I feel like I'm better off just keeping my line wet and so I just kind of grounded out st stayed real close to here and uh, I don't I don't think I've even had the I don't know if I fish really clean I might have done all right on the keeper count but I just didn't get the quality of bites to to be in the in the weight part of it well Jason you've come out here you've showed us all that you belong on this stage you've been done very well I know you might not be happy with the total results but you're a heck of a fisherman. You're one of the best in the West right now. You're probably one of the best in the entire country. And you're going to be at the next event. You're going to show us all again what it takes to be out there and be a winner. So thanks for coming out, man. We really appreciate you coming up here. Appreciate it. We'll see you at the next event. Come on this way. Right. right there. Give him all a big round of applause. He did his heart. He worked, fished his heart out out there. That's for sure. Our next angler coming up here. Cameron, you ready to weigh some fish? You guys ready to see some more fish? Here. Let's bring him to the stage. Big round of applause for Mr. Cameron Carb. Cameron. <laughs> All right, man. He's out here in his flip-flops enjoying the sun, right? Absolutely. That's why we live here. <laughs> That's all right. Let's set those fish up in here. You got a big fish to weigh today? I do not. Okay. His fish go 15.95. Hey, that's a great second day weight out here. That gives you 18, 34.56. 34.56 puts you in second place weight-wise right now. How are you doing keeper count? Uh, I wasn't even keeping track of keepers. I had six yesterday and ten today, and I don't even know who's doing good. I don't even know how many keepers is a good, is a good bag right now. I wish I could help you, but I don't know either. <laughs> keeper count won't be up till about probably seven or eight tonight. Again, I know the cutoff is around 6 o'clock. Just being a part of this, being out here, Lake Martinez, you got this flag right there. Yeah, high, yelling. yelling at high, high and proud. You can't see it right there. You're from here. Yeah. Do you like fishing here? You know, I really love fishing here. It's obviously, the, uh, in, in my opinion, the best fishery that the state has to offer. So I'm, uh, I'm a proud Arizona native, and I'm, uh, and I'm especially happy to be here and do well in, in my home state. Take a couple of those fish out of there. Everybody out here wants to see what you did. As an Arizona native, show them what you think about Lake Martinez. Show them what you think about this fishery and what you did out there today. Lake Martinez, there's your fish. All right, everybody. If you're sitting on the couch right now and you're watching him catch these fish, He's from this place, and if you think you can do better, step on up here and see if you can do any better. Thank you very much for coming out. We really appreciate it. How did things change for you today? You know, uh, 
They were completely different. Yesterday I was keyed in on the wind, and today we had zero wind. So it was a completely different game plan for me from the start. And uh, I'm happy to have what I had today. I did, uh, I did leave a big one that uh, got a branch in his mouth at the same time as my bait, and uh, it would have put me on top of the leaderboard by far had that been the case. But, you know, that's why we keep on doing this stuff. Maybe I'll get him tomorrow. All right. Now, you said keeper count. You're probably not there. You're at 34.56. You know that there's five spots only. Yep. On, the mo on the bubble right now is Ken Ma. How are you feeling about weight? And do you think you'll be here tomorrow? I think I'm going to be sitting here tomorrow with these folks out here watching, uh, watching everybody else come back in is what I think is going to happen. I think I missed it by one or two places. I just uh, didn't execute enough. And it's really rare when you don't execute all the way and you still make the cut. So. Well, if we don't see you out here tomorrow, we hope we see you out there watching and supporting everything up here. Thank you for coming out and fishing with us. Thank you for coming out and supporting the BAM Trail. Give him up right there, your hometown native, Mr. Cameron Carver. All right, guys, here comes our next. We got our next angler coming up here. He's happy to be coming up, Mr. Hayden Lee. Let's bring it on up here and weigh some fish. Hayden, you got a big fish to weigh today? No. All right, well, you do have, how many fish you got in there? Five. He's got five fish to go 13.64. 13.64. Hold on, what? There we go. Now, Hayden, that gives you 31, 37 overall. Take those fish out of there, put them down there, grab a couple of those fish. Let's show them off to the crowd. Let's show them off to all the cameras. Let's show them off to all the people sitting at home watching you on YouTube. And thanks for tuning in, by the way. And there's some fish from Mike Martinez right there. Now, this young guy's coming out here, and this is... How many times have you been to this lake? Not well, yesterday. <laughs> so not many times at all. How do you feel about being here? Is this a lake that you're willing to come fish again? Oh yeah, for sure. If we were here a month earlier, I bet it would have been really fun. Um, yesterday the wind blew and I was catching on a seven inch swim bait all day and I found some flipping water too. Um, but they dropped the water, I plan on flipping today without the wind, but they dropped the water like a, at least a foot and that kind of screwed me up. But I still caught some, I guess. Hopefully, I don't know what Keepers is. I got like 20 or one, 21 or something. Yeah, I don't know yet. But if anybody wants to watch, you can go to thebamtrail.com. You can check out the Keeper count. Like I said, it'll be up around 7 or 8. How do you feel about it right now? Keeper count, I mean, you're, you're not in it for the weight, but, you know, Keeper count-wise, what do you think? Mm, I think I'll be a couple out, probably. Is it a long drive home? Yeah, 10, 11 hours. I want to ask one question. You're, you're a younger guy coming up in this sport. You're up here on this stage right now. You just fished against some of the top anglers, not only on the West Coast. Some of these guys are definitely some of the best in the country. How does that make you feel just being up here right now? That feels good. Been doing it for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out. I hope we see you tomorrow. But if we don't, oh, it's, oh yep, they're already in your boat. Thank you for coming up, Hayden. Really appreciate it. All right. This next angler, he was your day one leader. He had 22.24 pounds. He comes from the Bay Area of California, and he drove all the way down here. He got to Lake Martinez. I talked to him yesterday when he's out there fishing. He said, you know, this isn't exactly what I thought it would be. He goes, it's so much better. But I'll tell you what, let's bring up Mr. Zach. Thompson right now. Zach, come on up here. Look at all these people out here clapping for you, giving you some love. Give me some love. Give this guy some love right here. Let's throw him up there. You got a big fish to weigh today? Okay. So first we're going to weigh all his fish. All his fish. Oh, he backs it up. 22.92. Put those down in there. Pull out that big fish. There's your big fish. Now he needs 9.54 to take the lead as big fish. He's right there. He's shaking his head no. But he's got 
8.63, so close. Take that one. Grab another one real quick. Grab the smallest one you got in there. Come on, grab the smallest one you got in there. Hold it up there with that big one, and let's show these people at Lake Martinez the full scale of what they allow you to come out here and catch. You said to me yesterday, you're just loving the way this thing's fishing, and he's showing it right there. Woo! There you go. That's your Lake Martinez fish. Thank you for letting us play with these things for sure. All right, Zach. They're out there. They already know you down here. They've been watching you. They've been showing you all the love, man. They're happy to see you come down here. You're tipping the scales right now. You got about a five, little over five pound lead. There's those weights. Make sure you keep those for your social media because I know you like to post that stuff. Likes to brag a lot, and that's a good thing. He's got a lot to brag about. He's got 45-16. He's back in the lead. This place is fishing just like you like it, isn't it? Yeah, you know, this place is fishing amazing. Um, I come from Bay Area, California, and I fish the Delta a lot. This place lays out a lot like the Delta, only you don't have to fight the tide. Um, I got into some fish, uh, figured out what was going on a little bit yesterday, midday expanded on that and then ended up when the water dropped this morning I had something to go to this morning when the water was lower than I expected and was able to put together a good bag and uh, yeah it's been awesome I, I wish the weights carried over but you know tomorrow if I can back up another 22 pound bag then maybe I'll have a shot but it's been really fun I want to thank Bam I want to thank Mark I want to thank Ed everybody here um, this is a great circuit uh, really lets us showcase our skills we fish against a few guys elite guys and um, you know keeper count and the the weight you know it's it's a great format it's really really fun i want to say hi to my wife my kids they're in texas right now um thanks for watching my parents everybody who supports me st croix seven reels p line um i'm sure i'm forgetting somebody uh dcr propeller in sacramento frank takes care of my boat and keeps me running and uh so we'll see what happens tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow all right zach 45 16. That's a good weight, man. You came out and just laid it down and said, no, come get me. How are you feeling about tomorrow for the weight? You know, um, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I didn't know what was going to happen today. So if I can just string together one more good day, uh, we'll see if we can take home. Now, tomorrow it all goes to zero. You had two days of 22. Your areas that you've seen, do you think you got a third day of 22? Well, I, I, I don't know. I've never been here before. Yesterday was the first day I put the boat in the water here, so I don't know what I'm sitting on, but uh, with less guys, because there was a lot, of, a lot of local guys in there today and a lot of us in there, and uh, tomorrow might be a little bit more calm, and we'll see what's going on. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to see you tomorrow. So, Zach, thank you for coming. We'll see you in the morning, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, man, thank you. Zach Thompson right there. That is how you come out here and show off that you're a true champ. <laughs> All right, our next angler, he had 4.75 yesterday. He's got a little bit of work to do, but Marty Lawrence right here. Let's bring him on up. Marty is always up for the challenge. Marty, let's set those fit. Now, don't put them in there. Even though you want it, I can't give you the weight. Now, you got, how many fish you got in here? I got five there. You've got five fish in there, and they go 9.47 now. Overall, what you what? Come over here real quick. Let's let's set these back in there. You got a big fish you want to weigh at all? No. Okay. In just a second, I'm gonna have you show those yeah, fish off. Yeah, the fish the size of my back. <laughs> in just a second, you're not making it on the weight right now. You got 9.47 a day. How was your keeper count? I had five. I don't know that that's gonna make it, but Marty, <laughs> you know, tell us. Do good at, but it's one of the tournaments you want to do good at because I live here and just didn't happen. I, I had the fish to compete with, but unfortunately come off again today too. So, and I struggled to get five. Just wasn't my week. Well, tell us. I'm going to California and <laughs> these guys again. I mean, it's, it's hard enough to, to fish with this, this caliber of people and whenever you can't get them in the damn boat, then sorry, it, it's even worse. So you're native to this area? No, no, I live in, in Phoenix. That's still pretty close, right? You're in Arizona. You fish this water a lot? No, I've been here one other time. So. Are you willing to come back and try it again? Oh, yeah. yeah. So if we bring this back here, 
back here to this little lake, this little piece of beauty out there that I saw all day today, you're going to be up for that challenge. Oh, yeah. That's one of the best fisheries we got here. And so let's bring it back. We will do that. Marty, thank you very much. Hold up a couple fish for everybody out here to see. Lake Martinez, he's got a couple fish he's going to show you. So give it up for him right now, Mr. Marty Lawrence. Another one of your hometown anglers coming in. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Marty. We appreciate you coming out. Another one of the great anglers that we have on our st uh, out here fishing with for you guys. Our next angler, he's coming up. He had 17.20. 17.20 is a good weight, and he should be making it if he can back it up. So let's bring him up here, Mr. Bill O'Shin. Let's see if you can back that up from yesterday. All right, let's set him on up here. Do you have a big fish you want to weigh today? No. All right, he's got it right now. Oh, he backed it up. 15.19. Not bad at all. I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, let's set these back in here real quick. And I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about it. But then we're going to have you show some fish off. You got 32.39. You're just out of it on the weight. How do you feel about your keeper count? Uh, I caught 15 today, so I with 12 yesterday and 15 today. I don't know what everybody else did, but I, I feel like I'm probably pretty solid, but we'll see. Are you feeling comfortable at all about being in there with the keeper count? I don't really know, because I don't know what keeper count is yet. I'm, I'm kept in the darkness as much as everybody out there. Yeah, I, I you know, who knows? I, I, feel, I, I hope so, sure. <laughs> I know you hope so. I know everybody wants to be here for day ten, for day three. We have no service out there, so there's no way to know until everybody uploads here in a little while. So, um, you know, I'm gonna go upload all mine and uh, enjoy this this uh, the Rio Loco. I think it is. The place is cool. As a matter of fact, this. Thank you guys for coming out. What an awesome crowd. You guys are great, man. This place is so cool. I love being here. Yuma's cool. The people are awesome. This fishery's cool. I can't wait to come back. Well, I hope you have to come back tomorrow. But if you don't, we really appreciate you coming out today. But take a couple of those fish right now. Nobody wants to leave yet until they see your fish. All those people watching at home, they want to see your fish. Bill, show them some fish. All right, you may stand it up. There it is. All right. Hey, it's a good bag of weight. You got to go fishing. If we don't see you the next time, we'll see you at the next event. Thank you, sir. All right, right now, we got another wrangler getting ready to come up. Earl, you about ready to weigh some fish? You done sitting in the sun? All right. Well, let's bring him up here on the stage then. Mr. Earl Dalton's going to come up here. He had 17.02. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, you know what? I better say that right because they keep telling me he's got it everywhere. Earl Dalton the third. <laughs> All right, bring him up on the stage. He had 17.02 yesterday. You have a big fish you want to weigh today? No. Let's set him up in here. Let's see what these five fish. Five, yeah. Five fish, go. 14.14. 14.14. Not a bad weight. Yep, we're going to have you hold a couple up. It gives you 31.16. You can set them right down in that water there. Let's keep them fresh. Let's keep them healthy. Show off these Lake Martinez fish, everybody. Give it up. He's getting ready. Oh, he loves the drama. There they are right now. That is a great bag of fish. Now, Earl, before I let you go here real quick, you got 31.16. Now, for weight-wise, doesn't quite get you there. Right. How is your keeper count going right now? Um, I think I had like 17 or something like that. But, you know, either way, I had a great time. And uh, just want to say, you know, thank you for everybody. Thank you, Mark, Bam, everybody that's working here, uh, all the folks coming out right here. Thank you to my tribe, the Jackson Venturi Band of Miwok Indians. Without these people, I couldn't do anything like this, and uh, I just appreciate everybody. I appreciate my girl. Thank you, Hannah. All right. Thank you, All right, man. Thank you for coming out, Earl. We hope you see you tomorrow. 
Keeper count will be coming up soon. Is that, that's Conrad Demetrius, right? Something's cut off. Yesterday. He's going to need a little bit of work to do to get up there in the top five weight-wise. Don't know what he did for count-wise, but let's bring up Mr. Conrad Demekis. Come on up here, man. You got a big fish to weigh today? All right, we're going to weigh fish. How many you got? Five fish? Five. He's got five fish. He needed 14.05 is what he had yesterday, and today he drops 19.33 on the scales. Here's this part. We're going to set these back in the water. You don't have a big fish to weigh. But come over here real quick. We're going to have you hold up a couple fish in just a second. 19.33 puts you in fifth place. How is your keeper count going? I had 14 yesterday and I had 10 today. So I got 24. Probably be a bubble boy on that just like this. So I lost two fish today. So I probably don't even deserve to go fishing tomorrow to be honest with you. <laughs> You're one of the best anglers on the West Coast. You absolutely deserve to go fishing tomorrow. And if you get the chance, I know you're going to be here. It goes back to zero. How are you feeling if you get the chance to come back out here? What are you going to do to this lake? Uh, I saw some things this afternoon. I really want to go fishing tomorrow. <laughs> really bad. Well, then hold that head up high. Grab two of those fish right there. Show them up there. there. Hold them up high and let everybody in the YouTube out there see them. All the cameramen out here. All the people that showed up out here from you, Arizona, to come out and show these fish off. Come right here real quick. Tick right there. There it is. All right, Conrad. We'll have those fish off to Mark real quick. There you go. Thank you for coming out. We hope that we see you tomorrow. If not, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. All right, our next angler. He had 18.52 yesterday. 18.52 is a great weight. He's going to need just a little bit of work to get from to 33. 33.38. But our next angler is Mr. Nick Foudier. Come on up here. Do you got a big fish to weigh? All right, let's set him up in here, Nick. How many you got today? I got five. All right, that five is going to go 15.80. 15.80. We're going to set these back in the wall. Oh, shoot. I got to push the button. At least it came out exactly the same, right? So we're <laughs> All right. We're going to set those in there for a second. We're going to have you hold up a couple of those and show them off in just a second. Step over here, Nick. Come on. I know you love being up here talking to me. It's one of your favorite things to do. You can see it in your face that you do everything you can to get on this stage. 15.80. That puts you in fourth right now. How's your keeper count going? Not good. Uh, today was a struggle. I honestly thought I had 13 pounds. And I was asking everybody, what do you got, what do you got? It seemed like everybody smoked them today. So if you put your hand on my chest, my heart is thumping right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I really like that wind, man. The wind that we had yesterday really got those fish uh, chomping a chatterbait. And today I just tried to run the same stuff, but I ran it backwards. And I think that ended up hurting me. I caught one bed fish at the end of the day that salvaged me. Um, you know, if I go fish tomorrow, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, answer me this one question. I have said from the blast off till right now, that this day, cut day, is one of the most feared days in bass fishing for you touring pros. Is this one of the most feared days? It's, it's exciting in the morning, but if your day doesn't go too well, it gets very nerve-wracking, especially when you're sitting in line and you're I'm just eyes like a hawk watching everybody throw their bag and throw their fish in the bag. So. It is what it is, but I mean if I fish tomorrow great if I don't you know I got to thank everybody who gets me here uh, Gone fishing marine ranger boats mercury marine G rat baits. I caught all my fish on a chatterbait with the mixer uh, trailer uh, 20 line 20 pound P line I uh, use the seven reels Sims Costa I Mean it, it, I just I have the best companies behind me 
All right, Nick, grab a couple of those fish out of there. Stand about right where I'm at right here. Show these fish off to the people that came out to support you from Lake Martinez and to everybody out there in YouTube. And all the camera out there, step over right here, Nick. Center stage, and there's the fish right there. We hope we see you tomorrow, Nick, but if we don't, thank you for fishing with us and thank you for supporting us, man. He's still got a little bit. Of, he's in fourth right now. He's still got keeper count. It's getting tough out there. These guys are getting close. These weights are getting close. Zach Thompson, he's got a little bit of a cushion right now with that 45 pounds. And there's some guys out there going, yeah, maybe second, maybe third. But there also might be some guys out there that are going, I'm taking first. So let's go ahead and see if the next guy up can take over first. John, you ready to weigh some fish? You had 16.62 yesterday. He's coming up. Wait, let him get out. There you go. Now you can go. Mr. John Dunn's going to come up on the stage and we're going to weigh some fish. He had 16.62 yesterday. You got a big fish to weigh? Well, now I got to dry this one off. I can't even give you that much weight for that one. How many fish you got today? I got one. John, step over here real quick. We're going to weigh this fish. That fish is going to weigh 3.88. Now, I'm sure that that's not the way you wanted to go. Let's put it down here. And I know we're gonna ha I know you don't want to, but let's pull that fish out of here. I'm gonna have you stand on center stage, and I'm gonna show these people out there that are watching everywhere what that fish looks like right there. Give it up for this guy. They went out there in all the changing weather, all the changing fisheries. These fish are moving around. You came out, step over here with me real quick. All these people on camera right now, they want to know what kind of change. Because you had good weight yesterday. What happened today? Yeah, like Nick said, the wind really um, helped my bite yesterday. And today, without the wind, I had to change it up a lot. I made a lot of adjustments, and I was calling out a ton of fish. Saw everything I needed. Wasn't able to capitalize in the moment. And, uh, you know, I just didn't get as many bites today as I did yesterday. And the few that I had on were heartbreakers so I you know I was feeling good there's gonna be more there's gonna be more and it just didn't come together for me today well John I know you went out there and I know you fish as hard as you can you're another good one I'm gonna tell everybody out here I will always stand up here these are some of the best fishermen in the country they may only be on the west coast they may only be representing out here but these guys can bring it every single time so John if you don't make it we hope we see you at the next event thank you for coming out and fishing with Bam got two more anglers you want to do a commercial first or you want to go no. okay all right our next angler gonna come up here Zach you ready let's get some fish Wade bring them up here he had 11.71 yesterday 33.93 is what we're looking for to make it up weight wise he's got he just said he got that with one fish that's some confidence right there you got a big fish to weigh today all right well he's gonna have how many fish got in there? Four again. I didn't get the memo. You know, I didn't get the memo yesterday and at the meeting. You know, you're supposed to bring five a day, so. Today, your four fish go 8.71. Put those fish down there real quick. And in just a second, I'm gonna have you wait, I'm gonna have you hold those up. But I'm gonna ask you, just like I asked everybody else, you came to Lake Martinez. How many times you been here? Zero. You have 8.71. It doesn't quite move you up into the top five. Keeper count, I'm guessing you're probably not going to make it either. How do you feel about Lake Martinez, even though it was a struggle? You know, this is a beautiful place. It um, fishes a lot like the Delta um, for me. Uh, I caught all my fish basically flipping, punching. Um, tried to pick up a Cinco today. Uh, I think I caught two. The that were short but um you know other other than that i mean clear lake delta i mean this is this is a wonderful place you got to watch the sandbars <laughs> <laughs> um i did not end up on any uh this weekend thank thank goodness so um you know i did 
first, I want to thank my family for coming. My, my mom's here, uh, my wife, um, our two dogs, our macaw. <laughs> um, and then thank Mark, the whole staff, um, for putting this on. Without, without them, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't be here. Um, and then I want to thank uh, Garmin especially um, before this event. Um, they stepped up for me. Um, they're a new sponsor for me this year. And, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate them very much. So um, Mark helped me get it dialed in like five minutes before I came here. So other than that, it was a good time. I can't wait to get back, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Well, before you leave, reach into that bag, pull out two of those four fish, show them off to the camera, show them off to the crowd out here. Everybody get ready, get up for what he thinks of Lake Martinez out here. That's what he thinks right there. As he says, thank you very much for letting us play with those fish. Arizona, you should be proud of what you have out here because that is a heck of a lake, and everyone up here has said the same thing. Thank you, Vic, Zach. We appreciate it. I can see my last angler. He's coming up here. He's had 10.17 yesterday. He is one of the young guns of this sport but he is a force to be reckoned with for sure. Let's bring him up here, Mr. Luke Johns. You got a big fish to weigh? No, I do not. All right, yesterday you had 10.17. Today you have 14.16. Now, how does that, set those back in there real quick. Now, weight wise, I don't see your name on there, sir. <laughs> no, we're a little bit shy on that one. Um, you know, this week was a challenging week, to say the least. It seems like, um, you know, the start of my season just has not quite gone the way I wanted it to. But, um, you know, it's been it's been great fishing down here this week. It's It's been a really cool experience. This is a brand new place. I've never been down here. Um, and there's just so much water to fish and so many good looking areas. It's like, just like everybody else said, it's like fishing the Delta, fishing Clear Lake, um, which I really like to do. But uh, I just couldn't quite figure them out today. Um, but, you know, I caught a ton of fish, flipping some Yamamoto soft plastics, and then, uh, you know, ran around the river. I ran all the way down, and then I tried to go pretty far up and, uh, you know, paid attention to the Garmin's all week and, uh, you know, didn't get stuck on any of those sandbars, which was <laughs> nice. Um, but uh, I got to say a big shout out to my parents. They drove all the way down here from Folsom. It's like a 13-hour drive, so um, it's awesome to look out and see them watching away in. And then I got to say hi to my girlfriend back home. I know she's at home watching. Sorry I didn't catch them better for you, but on the bright side, you get to see me a day earlier. Um, but uh, anyways, um, I'm, I want to get back down here and get some redemption on these fish at some point. So hopefully we get another one of these BAM Pro Tour events down here. And um, otherwise, thank you guys at BAM Pro Tour for putting this on. Thank you to the crowd that came out and watched. It's pretty cool. We got quite a few people. I didn't expect that in the desert. So thanks for watching. And, um, you know, if you want to follow me along on my social medias, I post a bunch of stuff. And um, anyways, thanks for having me, and we'll see you at the next one. Well, I'll tell you what, before you walk off that stage, take a couple fish out of there. Lake Martinez, this man came out here. He stepped up, and he didn't quite make the cut, but he's right here. And he's going to show you a few of the fish that he caught. There they are, right there. All right, Luke. Yeah, absolutely. Step over here in the middle real quick. Oh, 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 when those fish went. The guy's back here yelling, put him in the middle. Put him center stage and show those off. All right, out there, YouTube. You just got to see those fish. Don't forget your shades. Thank you, Luke. We really appreciate you coming out and supporting us. Right now, I'm looking around. I don't see any more cars coming in. That is, the, that is it for today. Now, again, I can give you the top five that have made it weight-wise. 33.93. And his name is Mark Pilgrim. He'll be in there. We have number four. He had 34.32. Nick Cloutier. Number three, 34.56. We got Cameron Carver. Second place. This is weight only. We still got plenty to go back there for the fish. But he had 35.41. He's in second place. And his name is Mr. Ish Monroe. And our day one leader, 
our day two leader and the man who says he thinks he can do it for day three wants to do it for day three and he's going to be in there and he's going to get his chance and that's mr zach thompson with 45.16 that is how you do it down here all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Right now, our big fish ended up being Mr. Billy Hines with a 9.54 out of this beautiful fishery. Thank you for letting us come down here, and thank you for having such a great fishery. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse, click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water.